Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Scarlet Temperature, and we are playing some Mass Effect. We are going. Nothing ever comes of them. Shinji. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Ah. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. So that his people could live. This is why you dislike aliens. Is this why you're always going on about the council? Is this why you're racist? Everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger. Then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're not entitled to being racist. Of course not. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO <coughs> who ever said that to me. Aww. Thanks, Skipper. It's because I'm awesome, that's why. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Okay, Scuttlebutt. Dismissed, ma'am. Garrus! Garrus, I love your face. Commander, good to see you. You've been with c -Sec a while. <coughs> Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Not yeah, as much as me. Interesting things. <laughs> Anything specific? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. Really? That Tell me more. That was a bit... disturbing. Disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless. Nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Oh, no. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. Ew! But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. What did you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, but... we discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles! <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 wow. for a full set. All right, because they have four testicles. <laughs> What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Interviewing? You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got started and freaked out. bleeding profusely. I so you beat him. Exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Doctor Salion's employees; they were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. That yeah, that that's sick. He was growing parts inside these people. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only but, on the inside. But if you wanted the inside, nobody could see it. But if you wanted the organs to be good, he sh he should take them out, make sure they're healthy, and then grow new ones. Yeah, bastard. <laughs> I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Don't tell me that! <laughs> Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. 
blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. So we need to find him, right? By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. They just let him go? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. Yep. They wouldn't listen. I see. Well, you can't get them all. No. <sighs> Letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. It's a tough choice. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Well, let's see if we can find him. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me, let's I'll go. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's safe. Well, I are, take you everywhere, Garrus. You are my right hand man and my future lover. Of course I'm gonna take you with me. <laughs> okay, and last but certainly not least, Tully! Tully, 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 Tully. Hi, Tully. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Okay. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Like what? What are you hoping to find? You I can help. bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. Um, itchy ear. Why? What's so special about you? <laughs> What's so special father. about you? He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Your royalty? So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. Yeah, officially. But it doesn't work that way in practice. Yep. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. Preferential treatment? You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a lot of pressure. It must be tough on you. Under pressure. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. Great! We don't want that. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. And she's going to become an expert. To study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want to So I'm get getting all of the character quests. Shepherd. First we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Um So we need to find some gap for Tolly. See you later. Did that, did that actually go as a Okay, it didn't. It didn't go as a Tolly! Hey Shepherd. You need something? Pilgrimage. I wanna know more about the pilgrimage. When my people re Okay, we already this did this. As a gift to the captain of the yeah. Like what? Okay, so we need to find something for Tolly, but it's not going to actually give me the quest. Or maybe I have to do something else first. I don't know. But either way, we're going to go do some extra side questies. 
Yay, side questies. Yay, teleporting shepherd. <coughs> we'll do a couple of the side quests, finish out a couple worlds, and then we'll go do the DLC. Now, for those of you who haven't, uh, I can't remember what the name of the DLC is, but it is... Gosh darn it, webcam. Oh well. I'm just gonna bounce for a second. There we go. Now let's get fun! Okay. It's a little bit better. My webcam is not the brightest in the shed. But anyway. We're gonna go do some... Clear out some worlds, then we're going to go do that DLC. And I remember most of the DLC, but it has something to do with an asteroid. Okay. You know, we're here, we might as well clear everywhere else out. Strenuous. Now we finally get to leave this stifling place of illegal activity that's not really illegal, kind of illegal. Re they ignore a lot of regulations. Hence the Rachni. Message coming in. I didn't do it. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you were in the Hi, air. Hackett. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. What's going on? How can I help, Admiral? That the is not why I picked you have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Uh, I can't just run it. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I can try. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral, and I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Okay. Survey. Medallion. More survey. No survey. Therefore, I don't care. Wait a minute, what? Warning level one cold hazard, but I can't land. Why would you bother telling me that? Okay, there's an unknown. That's probably where I need to go, so we're going to wait. Anything else? Nope, so we just got this thing. Scan. Scan. Wait, no, I meant to... Yeah. Come on, Scarlet. There we go. Here we are. Partial pop exhaust from a sub light nuclear uh, engine drive. These towards the nearby planet of whatever. Oh, now I can land! I was like, wait a minute, why would that have the cold hazard there if I can't land? Oh wait, something else needed to be triggered first. The back of the Normandy looks like it's on fire when it does that. Yes, yes, except. Why would I take anybody else? <laughs> Saving data, do not turn off your system. But what if I want to corrupt my save files? Okay, there's lots of stuff. Anomaly. We're going over here. We'll get all of the anomalies eventually, but I've got stuff to do. Might as well go get this one first, though. Because it's like right here, so. Whee! Whee! Oak. Come 
want this. Bop, 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 bop. Yay, I got an insignia and a lot of money that I don't use. Whee! I think something tells me this world has a Geth and Cat name on it. <coughs> Not sure why, but I think it does. Because I remember there is a large Geth encampment on my screen. Oh well, gives me more things to blow up. Whee! Thunk. Wait, cobalt? Isn't cobalt blue? Bop, 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 bop. Don't mind me, just running over the cobalt. Okay, I see it now, so we'll go over here next. This is probably where the... No, it's where the privateers are. What? They are probably important. And I'm going to stab them all in their faces. Because I'm the protagonist, and apparently that's what I do. Oh, I see a thing! I see the thing! It's glowy! Beacon was a death trap. Or, was a death trap? Death trap! Hello! Please die. Please die. Oh, fine. I'll do this the proper way. Nope. And by that, I mean... Whee! I'm not doing this very well, am I? I don't believe I am, because unlike the other ones, apparently running them over does not hurt armatures. Nope. I just got two more pog. Okay, one more. Got one more. Hello! Yeah! I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die! You don't see anything. <coughs> this is what I get for recklessly running around and trying to run over Geth! I almost get killed! By the Geth. Okay. Stay away. Maybe that's how I injured this. Injured it. Hi there! <laughs> Hi there! Bye bye! Okay, now let's keep going. Hopefully, I get some shields back and hopefully, I don't get killed by the Geth. Again. Ooh! Minerals! I need those! I think it gives me extra minerals in Mass Effect 2. Just like having an obscene amount of money gives me an obscene amount of money in Mass Effect 2. Ah, the benefits of carrying over your save files. I need this. Ba, 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 ba. Woo! Money, 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 money. Now let me out. I see monsters that are probably Geth. Wow, that is that is that is a lot of monsters that are probably Geth. Please don't kill me. I would rather not die. Hello. Wait, Alliance Heavy Turret? Seriously? Bonk. Hello. Taking hits. Bad idea. No, you won't. Okay, there's one. And I've got another one over here. That'll be a little bit smarter. Enough serve me. Oh, hey, there's another one. Full compromise. I'll kill you. Taking hits. You ain't gonna kill nobody. Hold yeah. compromised. I deserve that. 
Hello. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. All clear. Hello, explosion. Okay. Now let's go take care of whatever's in here. And by take care of, I mean murder everyone and take their stuff. Anything over here? No. Tolly, you are a little bit too close for comfort, honey. You lead. I'll follow. Well, you're in my way. Just got guys, 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 guys. Okay. I'll do it. Cause I hope I don't. I hope I didn't just glitch myself. Cause then I'd have to redo an hour and a half of progress, which would make me rather angry. Saving data, do not turn off your system. Yes, I know, game. Can we can we get on with it? Thank you. Hello? Go, go, go! Fog. I will destroy you! I will destroy you! You can try. You're probably going to die in the process, but Enemy hey, what do I know? Shield disabled. Ah! Krogan. Krogan? What's this? Shield boost? I don't know I have shield boost. I don't know, let's use it. Enemy is everywhere! Ah. Hold the line! No, Krogan. You must die! I don't wanna die! Enemy you is are everywhere! Oh, I didn't see this, Mary. You, uh, you have some balls! Too bad you're gonna die. Not dead yet. Yet, as always, being the operative word. You. you can try. You. Again, you can try, and then Garrus can kill you. I mean, far be it for me to question your life choices, but I'm questioning your life choices. I'm also taking your stuff. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Anything over here I can take? Nope. Okay. Why do I have the ability to run? I'm just jogging around leisurely and goes, nope, you're allowed to run for this particular moment. Later on? No, not so much. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna need this. You Bye. must die! And you must be thrown. <laughs> and now you're dead. How does that make you feel? Oh wait, you can't? Cause you're dead. I want this. Give it to me. Oh no 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 no. I want this too. Thank you. I also want whatever is over here in this room, if there is any other crates. Maybe. Hello? There's some dude. Uh, Captain William of the S um, MSV Majesty. His two fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. I'll take it. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, fancy stuff. Well, I guess we just have to finish clearing out the planet then. That did not take as long as I thought it would. But there wasn't any sign of any ship that Admiral Hackett was talking about. Was he referring to another system? Because I didn't see any ships. Except for the one I just found. Which led me here. But it had nothing to do with what he was telling me about. Oh well, it just means I get to go around in the cold again. By the power of the Mako. Ooh, squad. I want. Aw, oh, now it's only giving me one! But I liked having all of the stuff. Fine. You can have armor. You can have pistols. Wait, I meant to go to the map. Let's go over here to the terrain wreckage. <coughs> I'm going to assume the terrain wreckage is important for something. Probably just to give me some insignias for a side quest. 
And I also feel like it for Saren and all, but that takes effort. I don't feel like it. Aha! I say a thingy! Because that means I can now tell myself to go over here. Hello? Hi there! shielded tubes that are keeping, I'm um, guessing, air supply around. Wait. There's nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Wait, I've already been here, haven't I? Oops. Do <laughs> Now I get to have more things? Yes. Ah! Nope. 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 Not fighting a thresher more. Not fighting a thresher more. It is not happening. Not in this episode. Please stay away from me. I wonder if I can get close to it without it coming to play. Let's save and find out. Because I am not dealing with a Thresher Maw. It's not going to happen. You guys may want me to deal with a Thresher Maw, but unless I absolutely have to and the storyline says I have to, I am not dealing with a Thresher Maw. All this. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, oh. oh, oh, whoops, was not paying attention. It's okay, I've got enough Omni Gel. I've only got like a couple hundred Omni Gel. Just, just a couple. And I want to go over here to this anomaly. Which is probably a Gap Beacon that's going to kill me. In my face. That's usually how this ends. But anyway, we can do most of that in the next video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Mass Effect. I'll see you all!